Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about the big picture of the data analysis. So let's jump into the diagram and where we will discuss about the big picture. So guys, this is the picture of the analytics complexity. And if you closely observe this diagram, then you will find that the data analysis falls at the second stage in this analytics complexity. So what it means? So it means that irrespective of any domain, if you are working upon, we will get the information in the form of reporting. And on the basis of that report, we will proceed further and take the report data and start analyzing it. So what actually we analyze, we will discuss about that. But first we have to understand that why actually we do the analysis. So to answer your question, I would tell that we do analysis because we want to know the current state of the particular problem domain. For example, if you are working for a client, and the client is a construction company and who is looking for better sales price in their upcoming project. So for that, they have given some information regarding the house price of existing project along with the information like how many number of bedrooms are there, in which area the houses belongs to, what is the size of the houses in a square feet. So all these information which client is shared with you now on the basis of these information, you want to analyze the current state of the problem and to know the current state, we apply the data analysis techniques. And what are those techniques? Those techniques are descriptive statistic, which will be very helpful to describe and summarize the data. And with the help of these maths, you can easily identify that what happened. You also understand that why did it happen and more importantly, you will come to know that what is happening now. In our housing price example, we will apply the same kind of descriptive statistic and we will come to know that which variable is affecting the price and then we will pick that variable for further processing and that variable is used within the predictive analytics. So as you see it over here, once we have done the analysis in the further stages of the analytic complexity, we are having these number of layers. So over here, monitoring, forecasting, predictive and perspective is out of scope for this particular session or this particular course. But you can understand that after analyzing our data, we need to prepare it. And once we prepare the data, that data is being used for further processing and that will be used within the predictive analysis. And predictive analysis, I am going to cover in next course where we will discuss about the predictive analysis in more detail where we will discuss about what actually the predictive analytics is how machine learning algorithm is fitting into the predictive analytics is what actually the mathematics and the statistic which we will use where we will learn about different technique or say different algorithm for machine learning which will be helping us to design the predictive model that will help us to predict the future state of our domain if you talk about our example housing price then in that case, we will look into regression technique for forecasting the housing price. There are various algorithms available within the machine learning for a structured data like regression technique, nearest neighbor, random forest. So all these are different type of algorithm that is used for various purpose that is majorly categorized into two tasks. One is the regression task. Another one is the classification task. So all these topics are part of the predictive analytics, which I will create after this course, after seeing the response, how the response is coming for my this particular course, learn data analysis from scratch. If people are liking it, if I'm getting more response, then I will create the predictive analytics course. So on this note, I'm stopping over here. See you in the next session. In the next session, we are going to discuss about what is exploratory data analysis is and why it is important to do the exploratory data analysis. So on this note, I'm stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.